What's up, YouTube? The Adequate Gamer here, and welcome to Teardown. I saw a short video on this game, and I knew I had to try it. I love physics-based games and crazy physics-based games, and this one just fit the bill. So let's jump to the main menu here, and we're going to play some Teardown. Now, the first thing you're going to notice, let's jump into the campaign, because it looks like there's a sandbox mode, but we're going to jump into the campaign. The first thing you're going to notice is the graphic style. There's no real way to describe it outside of it does look a bit minecraft -y, just because it's very blocky and pixelated like um but it suits this game very very well because it's so physics driven and i think the other reason why they went with this particular graphic style is because physics like hardcore physics in games can be very very demanding on a on a system Add on top of that high intense graphics and you need like a supercomputer to play that. Okay. Open the gate and go inside. But yeah, very, very, very physics based game and I love it. I, you can literally just pick up a box, throw it. And not just that. Like, look, the boxes are breaking. It's incredible. I love it. Freaking love it. Okay, let's go inside real quick and get the show on the road shall we can i squeeze through there yes i can all right let's pick up our tools interesting glare look what the sun glare look at that oh wait it's like particles it's like i'm looking through a view screen or something i'm getting a little bit of uh solar flares or whatever whatever the hell you call it i don't know what you call it okay let's get oh we got a spray can see this is what i love i love that you can just spray paint anything it's so great look at this i love the freedom I love these kind of games that just let you do all of this stuff. Uh, fire extinguisher. Look at the friggin' physics of the fire extinguisher. Or I should say the, the, the smoky stuff coming out. Whatever it is. Okay. And then we've got the piece de resistance, this sledgehammer. Uh, replace the fuse to power on. Okay, where is the fuse? Outside? Oh, in the bathroom. Look at this. Oh, it's so great. It's so great. You can get your frustrations out playing this game. All right, let's go outside. Apparently inside here. Let's get this tree out of the way. It's a dead tree. It's fine. Okay. What do we want to do here? Uh, This? I just break it? Okay, there we go. I, first I smashed it, then I fixed it. All right, we got the power on. Let's go inside and check our messages. Look at these barrels. Oh, they're drums. Yeah, we need something a little bit stronger than a sledgehammer for metal. Okay, here we go. Here's our main computer. Operate. We have a new message from Tracy, the gas bill. Gas bill just dropped. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, here we go. It's also forwarded on. Just came in. Sounds kind of fishy, but we need the money. You up for it? So we are. Good evening. My name is Gordon Wu, general manager of Evertides Mall. I have a slight problem with an old building that's blocking our plans for a new wing. And I'd like someone to knock it over. I am the man for the job. Let's go knock this building down. And here is where the magic happens. It's just the old building problem. So there's the building. Um, there's our car. We're doing this in the middle of the night, I guess. So yeah, this is the building that we have to demolish. And basically, if you want, you can sledge it all down. But the other thing, uh, the game sometimes will give you things like this, which is a propane tank. Apparently a propane tank. Now, the one thing I've never been able to figure out is how to properly throw this thing. Let's throw it. Is it too high? Oh, we just... Did that take down the chimney? Oh, no, that's, that is a strong chimney. Okay, we're going to need some stronger stuff for that chimney, but let's grab another one of these. Just start lobbing it at the top of the house. Oh, baby. Oh, I love this. This, these, this, is, this kind of game is just makes me happy. Just makes me friggin' happy. I was always a huge fan of like... Ow! Oh! At least the health auto-regens. I was always a big fan of like demolition derby games. 
So the fact that uh, anything, anything, I'm, I was one of those smashy, smashy kids. I just love to just, let's just go in and smash all the friggin' walls right down. Let's just cut this baby right down, right down to its core. I mean, quite frankly, if you, uh, if you live in a house like this is a, this is an old place. Look at this. It's coming down like nothing, like nothing. Oh, it's so satisfying. This would be a great game to play if you were just like stressed out and you just wanted to break things. You ever have that, you ever have that feeling where you wanted to break things? You ever rage in front of your computer or something and end up and end up smashing or breaking something that you shouldn't have? Or if you're playing a video game console and you just take the controller and just literally just whip it across the room and break it. Okay, the only thing holding this whole building up is that friggin' That friggin' chimney, man. That is a tough chimney, so we need to find something bigger. I love that you can even, like, just destroy the trees. It kind of looks like a little bit like Lego. It's like Minecraft meets Lego. But look at the physics for crying out loud. I love it so much. Have I mentioned I love it? Oh. Let's use this. This is the great thing as well. Like, everything that you see around you is pretty much at your disposal. How do we raise the, uh, oh, there we go. Get this thing down. Yeah, everything you see around you is, is at your disposal. You see a vi uh, vehicle, you can jump in it and use it. It's so amazing. Okay, let's see if we can take down this chimney. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, like, uh-oh. Oh, no, don't lose it. Oh no, we're gonna lose it. Okay, we lost it. We lost it. And we're stuck. We are, we are very stuck. Luckily, the game offers us more than one device. Uh, use. Oh, there's more more of those propane things over here. Heck yeah. We want to use this. I don't think we do, because we need something to take down that chimney. Let's just lob this thing. Woo! Oh, heck yeah. Man, you can throw those things far. Here we go. This'll do. This'll do nicely. Oh, baby. I feel like a freaking kid at Christmas. Okay, so... Uh, I have to go around the vehicle that I already <laughs> got stuck. Goodbye, house. Goodbye. Ha! Oh, she's coming down. Oh, wait, what? Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's just drive right through this thing. Oh, baby. Oh, let's do that a couple more times. Heck, yeah. Oh, what am I stuck on? Drop the hammer. So we can see we're still four meters too tall. So until that roof basically hits the ground, which I think it's about to do. Oh, we're so close. Back up a little bit. Oh, wait, we almost got it. Just a little more. Ha! There's like nothing left. Oh, come on. There we go. We did it. Man, that is one demolished house, man. Holy crap. Uh-oh. Oh, um. That was a rental. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Mission accomplished. Escape. We're escaping, baby. Oh, my. That's so great. Oh, this game. All right. We've demolished the building. Mission accomplished. Do we get paid? Oh, I guess it's the next day. My stupid alarm clock is going off. I'm awake. Shut up. <laughs> oh, don't you wish you could do that with your alarm clock in the morning? Well, maybe not now. Everyone uses their phones as their alarm clock. Imagine just grabbing a sledgehammer. Boom. Oh, no. My phones. Okay, let's go downstairs. Get our next mission. Oof. Oof. We'll do one more. What the heck? New message. Here we go. From Tracy. Uh, what a morning. Shouldn't have taken that job. I knew something wasn't right. That building was under cultural heritage protection, and the demolition is now part of a criminal investigation. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a picture of me. Must have caught you on the traffic. Oh, okay. Well, we're in trouble now. 
And oh, it looks like looks like extortion is this woman's plan. A favor. Just so you know, I don't usually do this, but I'm stuck on a case and I feel like I should try something new. Blah 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 blah. Okay. So this mission we have to basically get information from computers? The Lee computers. Alright, let's do it. Like on the other side of the friggin' country, man. Okay. Let's do it. We are this is this is this is the big one here. So apparently we're wanted by the police under investigation, but um, these first two missions that I'm playing are, are definitely a little more laid back, but I didn't want to make this a super extensively long video. It's more or less, I just wanted to show you guys, not so much me playing the missions, as much as like, once you get into this area here, it's like, just do what you want to do. You want to drive a truck into a, a building? Do it. Do it. The game just gives you... Uh-oh. Uh, oh, heck yeah. Oh, I'm in the bathroom. Or washroom. Whatever you want to call it. One more go should should get us through. There we go. I just drove right through a friggin' building. And that's what I love about this game. And uh, if you bother to explore, there's more than meets the eye when you're playing like a mission. There's a lot more to this than just running in through these factories and collecting. Um, oh yeah, you can press tab. You look at your, the entire map. You can look at the map. You can see where you are. You can look at the map and see your uh, objectives. Ooh, the music's getting intense. Oh, this is where we came in. So the sledgehammer can't go through brick. But the vehicles absolutely can. This is this is what I mean. Like your mission is over here, and you have all of this to play with if you wanted to. Um, like down here. Like there's like a boat down there. There's a there's like a diving thing over here. Let's go over to the diving thing. I actually really like the graphic style. I really do. They could make a ton of games with this graphic style. Look, just this setting here. Look, just look at this. I feel like I'm at Camp Crystal Lake. They should make a Friday the 13th game like this with with physics where Jason can basically just come up to you and, you know, smash through a wall and let's jump in. Sploosh. All right, let's take a boat. I'm not even playing the game anymore. I'm just messing around. The only thing is, though, you are invisible. <laughs> you are completely invisible. They didn't bother. They didn't bother making anybody to actually be in the boat. But it's just so wild. It is just so wild. I've played physics-based destruction games before, but this one has like that bit of that cartoony vibe to it. These are propane tanks. Can I get up here? Oh, oof. Okay, never mind. The whole front of the boat just crippled away. These are massive propane tanks. If we hit those, it's good night. Uh, open the gate. Yes, I can. I can even go out here. Some of the doors are locked. Oh, not that one, though. That one just goes up to the top of that tower, I think. Do we need to go up there? No. So great. Don't go in the water! Just smash what you want. It's great. I love it. Oh, speaking of smash what you want... Go ahead and... Uh, Back this up a little bit. Oh, just took off my side view mirror. It's fine. We're going to make a small truck size hole in this building. Arrgh! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. Oh, I'm inside, though. Oh, look at that. The door was unlocked the whole time. Hey, what if I... There's multiple vehicles here. Can I use this vehicle to get on top of the vehicle? 
Oh my gosh. I'm almost lifting the truck. Okay. What if I hop on here? Wait, wait. What if I smash the truck? Oh gosh! Hold on. Oh, it's got a frame. Okay, that's not gonna work. Uh, hmm. I don't even know what I'm trying to do here. I just see blue flashing lights and I'm instantly attracted. Um, okay, wait. This isn't gonna work. I use this car in another way. Ah, we can't get up. Oh, I've just destroyed the whole top of the truck. Okay. All right, never mind. Let's go down here. The music's so friggin' intense, man. I love that you can just walk around. Now, there are invisible... Not invisible. They're not, I shouldn't say they're not invisible. They sort of are. But there are barriers to keep you... They couldn't just make it... A, like, the place that you get to play in is pretty big. But they couldn't just make it like a massive open-world GTA physics-based like style sandbox map because uh, the amount of things that you smash and break here's what i'm talking about yeah the amount of things that you smash and break um you know it would just be too much your pc would probably just explode or run out of ram is probably what would happen all right here we go okay all right, let's get back on track. I know I said I was going to finish this, do the first two missions, but I don't even think we're going to do the first two missions. This video is already going on too long. And the main idea was to do nothing more than to show you how freaking awesome uh, the potential like this game has to offer. And the fact that once you play through a mission, um, you can replay the same map in sandbox mode and just go crazy. Just do whatever you want to do. Okay, so let's pull up tab. Oh, I see propane. Pull up tab. And apparently this building and this building and that building are where the computers are. So if I go out this building and hang... Oops. If I go out this building and hang a left. Oh, I thought that was going to blow up. Wait, am I looking at this right? In this building? Is it up there? Ooh. Oh! <laughs> okay, hang on. Am I looking at this right? Yes, the building right in front of me is the building. Let's try not to hit any walls. Oh. oh! I guess you go up the stairs. Alright, I don't need you. Ow! Here we go. Wait, is this? Oh, there looks old. Well, it looks broken now. That's not the one then. I do see a silhouette in the next room. This is the one. There we go. Computer one complete. Grab valuable. Heck yeah. Okay, so there's a. <laughs> it's not just demolition. There's a little bit of criminal activity happening. That's for sure. Okay, so. In retrospect, I keep hitting the wrong button. In retrospect to where we are, um, let's jump out this window and hang left. Oof. And apparently inside this little building here is another computer. And there is. Okay. And the last one. Uh, this big building here, right? Let's go down this way. Is it that one? This is it this one? Is it up there? Oh no, it's not that one. We take this truck. Oh, what if? What if we drive this thing into the propane tank? Not in the water, the propane tanks at the last second will just bail. Wait, we'll jump out. 
lower this. Oh, there's too much debris here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm jumping out. <laughs> okay, that was that was a little anticlimactic. Let's try that again. This time. What? Game? What kind of physics is that? I'm probably going to die here, aren't I? Screw it. Let's just drive into the damn things. Ah! <laughs> We're in. We're in. <laughs> okay. This is the building. Um, is it up there we want to get to? Yes. Up there. How do we get up there? Oh, we got another valuable. Okay, we need to get up there somehow. This is a ladder. Oh, heck. Oh, uh, no, it's a pallet. Oh my gosh, how would anybody do this? Oh my, okay. Uh, okay. A little, no, wait. Uh, did I get it? Oh, I got it. Dude. Okay, we don't need the door. We'll just go into the window. Oh, heck yeah. Mission accomplished, baby. All right. Guys, that is Teardown. It is such a fun, fun game. And even if you don't want to, like, play the campaign, uh, the sandbox aspect of it, it's just so much fun to just jump in and play. And I highly, highly recommend uh, this game. Let's get to the escape vehicle. Just to find Smash. I can smash a tree down, man. Uh-oh. And I'm not playing... I don't have a really high-end PC, and my game is doing just fine on high settings. Like, I think everything's maxed out, and it's doing just fine, so... All right, check it out. Teardown. A lot of fun. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers.